I'm Gerard Hogan. I've been a reference librarian at Central Washington University Library for 30 years. And here's a poem I like. Inversnade by Gerard Manley Hopkins. It was written in the 1880s. Inversnade is a small Scottish village on Loch Lomond where a nearby mountain stream rushes over a falls and tumbles over rocks, emptying itself into the loch. Hopkins uses Scottish dialect words throughout the poem. A burn is a brook or a stream, and he uses unusual or invented words. The burn is described as a wild, powerful living thing, running, swirling, splashing, throwing up foam as it passes down the hillside and through the variety of riparian life on its way to the lake. I like the language, the sounds, and the images of this poem, and I especially like the sentiment expressed in the final stanza. Inversnade by Gerard Manley Hopkins. This darksome burn, horseback brown, his roll rock high road roaring down, in coop and in comb the fleece of his foam flutes and low to the lake falls home. A wind-puffed bonnet of fawn froth turns and twindles over the broth of a pool so pitch-black, fell frowning, it rounds and rounds, despair to drowning. Degged with dew, dappled with dew, are the groins of the braes that the brook treads through, wiry heath packs, flitches of fern, and the bead-bonny ash that sits over the burn. What would the world be once bereft of wet and of wildness? Let them be left, oh, let them be left, wildness and wet. Long live the weeds and the wilderness yet.